When a windstorm blew down a huge tree in her yard, Pansy Steele didn't know what to do. I just stood in the yard and just started praising God because it was so close to my home. So I was just being so thankful that I wasn't hurt, that no one was hurt because the tree was very tall. If the storm happened just a few months sooner, Pansy would have called someone to get rid of the tree. But that wasn't an option because of the coronavirus. It wasn't a good time financially with the COVID. I had just been furloughed from my job and I thought, you know, I, I don't even have a clue who to call to take care of something like that. Officer Brad Chambers was in the area when he met Pansy in her front yard. I immediately notified Public Works and Landscaping Services for the city and they said that they were going to come out here as soon as possible to clear up the public roadway because there was no way of clearing out this uh, massive tree that was in Pansy's front yard. Being here by herself for a load because of the COVID-19, what other options does she have but to go into a pretty big financial hole to fix something like this. The city couldn't do that much work on private property, so Officer Chambers made a few phone calls and got in touch with Operation Blessing. I wanted to hug all of you guys when y'all came to my door. I just wanted to, you know, just hug you so tight and thank you. But I tried to stay apart. Operation Blessing staff and volunteers used heavy equipment and chainsaws to cut the tree into manageable pieces. Then they threw it all into a dump truck and hauled it away. This is definitely having a, a genuine impact on Pansy and the rest of this neighborhood and ultimately the rest of the city. I would definitely like to appreciate Operation Blessing donors because they made all this possible. It was just amazing how Operation Blessing came together and did this for me. Now, I want to thank everybody who donates so that these guys can come out and do things like this for our community.